Let's take a look at Claw Code's new subagents functionality. You can think of subagents as tiny instances of Claude that are custom tuned to operate in a certain manner. Some useful subagents that I've seen are subagents custom tuned for things like debugging, code review, and inspecting a database. Let me show you how you can configure these subagents directly inside of Claude Code. Using Claude's in app subagent builder is extremely easy. We just type the agent slash command in our Claude Code console. This will take us to our agent's configuration screen. Let's kick off this process by selecting create a new agent. For this example, I'm going to create a subagent that's specifically tuned to help debug Next.js applications. We're going to select project for our agent's location. Now, on this screen, you can select whether you want Claude to assist you with the agent creation process, but I'm going to show you the manual steps so you can get an idea of what's going on. The first thing we want to do is give our agent a name. Now we'll provide a system prompt to our subagent. I've gone ahead and written one up, so I'll paste it in and we can take a look at it in a bit. Now we need to tell Claude when it should activate the subagent. Now that we've got that done, we can define what tools we want our subagent to have access to. For this example, I only need the ability to read files, edit files, and execute bash commands when necessary. Now we select what anthropic model we want our subagent to use. And finally, we'll select a color so we can identify when the subagent is being called in a Claude code run. All right, now that that's done, all we got to do is review our changes. Claude keeps all of its subagent configurations inside of its own .claude file. Here's the configuration file for our debugger subagent. The system prompt we wrote is, act as a software engineer specialized in debugging. You will be presented an issue to debug and you are to respond with details on where the bug is located and possible remediation steps. Execute the following steps to run the development server and see the output of debug print statements that you need to perform debugging and diagnostic tasks. And then we just provide it some basic instructions to run the server. Now, when we fire up Claude code and give it a prompt, we'll see that it starts using our debugger subagent whenever it needs to do any debugging activities. This helps Claude understand exactly what command it needs to run to start the server, as well as where the log files are located. All right, there you have it, subagents in Claude code. Do you have any cool subagents you've been using recently?